My name is Victor Newberry and I'm addicted to sniffing pillows. It all started when my mother used lavender scent on my pillows when I was about five years old. When I was around eight years old, my daddy said, Boy, you gotta stop sniffing pillows. It is weird. And so I said, Daddy, I don't like you either. Once when I was in my high school years, my best friend passed away and I coped by sniffing pillows. Don't get me sniffing my pillows. Get out of here. My name is Susan Jelvina Newberry, and my life has never been the same since my son started sniffing pillows. <laughs> I hate my mama. She's the stupidest mama I've ever seen. I hate her. We get into too many fights with each other. Like, I just sit down and sniff some pills, and then she comes in and acts like a total monster. Like, mama, if you hate me sniffing pillows, you hate me. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial break. Everybody, are you looking for a dryer that cleans your clothes and your kids? Yeah! yeah. So here we are, right next to our store product of today. The kid-friendly dryer. Here I'm with my good old pal. Sylvester. Yeah, and he knows the dirty work around here. He's so, so let's get you want to open oh, up doing a kid-friendly dryer. Then you take the kids in clothes and put them in there. Then you should be ready to go. And make sure to put it on extra high. All right, hang on. For extra quality cleaning. Oh, oh, oh. Buy our kid friendly dryer today. I shave my mustache so I can smell the pills better. You know, my mustache smelled of rotten cheese and eggs, but now all I can smell is lavender. Last week I got arrested for sniffing and driving. Whoa! They fined me $300. Do you know how many pills I could have bought with that? The other day, my mama got me a therapist, and guess what? She's ugly! Like, I hate my mama, but I hate her even more! I hate her! I think you got a problem. I ain't got no problem! I'm a therapist here. Yeah? Well, do you know, send me my mama, and I hate my mama. <laughs> Today, I'm putting my foot down. I have an idea to stop this madman from sniffing the pillows away. I sent a very sensitive letter to the governments to ban these darn pillows. Uh. What is this? Who government ban pillows? What is this crap? Who wrote it? I can't it. When I got that letter, I knew something needed to be fixed. And I knew it to be these cursed pillows. She did have never made them. Mama? Where are all the pillows? Why is that man taking them? that fatal ban, I grew a mustache. Not touching. You see, ever since that pillow ban, we've gotten really close. Right, Mama? No. So why are you at this therapy session? How did that make you feel? Uh -huh. 